is this just what it is in Denver or is this a part of the plan? I think this is a part of the plan. I think that when Sean Payton got hired, I think management, the front office said to him, look, we have this issue that we have to deal with here. We gave Russell Wilson this big contract. Didn't work out last year. We had to fire um, Hackett. We're bringing you in here to be the cleaner. So whatever you want to tear down, whatever guys you want to try to get rid of, um, you have carte blanche to do so. But if you can be able to improve Russell Wilson's production, I think that would make us feel better in regards to giving him this extension and having to see it through. So at this point, Sean Payton is playing with house money. He doesn't care how bad they are. He doesn't care how bad they get. They can they can lose every game for the rest of the season, and it's only going to benefit them because what ends up happening, I believe, is I have to see if they have their draft pick. Because if they have their draft pick, then you know they can be able to go get themselves a um a nice player in the NFL draft. Let's go ahead and look this up. Does Denver have their draft pick? Because if they don't, they're completely fucked. <laughs> they're completely screwed. All right, let's go ahead and check this. Let's see. Let's see if Denver has their pick. Okay, so they do have their first round draft pick for this year, which is good. So if they go bad, then they can make two decisions. They can say, do we want to draft the quarterback for the future? Or do we want to take that draft pick, uh, you know, trade it and get some more pieces to be able to help this team go forward? Get more draft picks, trade down, um, get more assets in that particular draft. So there are... There are ways for them to be able to replenish the shelf. They can trade Jerry Judy. They can trade, uh, uh, you know, Patrick Sertain. They can trade a lot of guys and be able to kind of tear this down and build it back up in Sean Payton's image. Because this team that he took is not his type of team. It's just not. He needs guys that are smart IQ, high IQ guys that understand their role, know how to play the game the right way, do not need to be coddled or be divas that's not the way he coaches so frank clark just got released they traded randy gregory to the to the 49ers i'm hearing rumblings about jerry judy he's been in trade talks for the last two seasons so i just think that this is a part of the plan i think that he knew that this was going to be a bad team and he's just kind of doing the bare minimum to try to get their ass through the season until they can be able to kind of just start tearing it down and build it in his image. So let's see what their remaining schedule is or what their next few games look like because I'm curious to know what they have in store because if they have a lighter schedule, then that means that they can be able to, you know, possibly compete a little more, which I don't think that they should. Um, let's see what they got. So week seven, they have the Green Bay Packers. That's a winnable game because Jordan Love is rubbish. Week eight, they have the Kansas City Chiefs. So they're going to lose that. Week nine is their bye. Week 10, they got the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> they, got bad from, they got from bad to worst. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, that's going to be a winnable game. However, it's going to be tough. Cleveland Browns in week 12. Houston Texans is no easy game. The Chargers... The Lions, man. Yeah. So, listen, this is a team that may end up winning one or two more games for the entire season. It's very plausible. This is not an easy schedule. So, everything that I'm talking about here in regards to them being able to replenish the shelf, trade guys off, and just keep it like that, I think that that's what they need to do. I think, honestly, that's what they need to do because... Them trying to compete or trying to keep things together for what? 
Got the quarterback in place already. He's already getting paid. You got a pretty young team in certain places. Your running game needs work. You can be able to replenish that in the draft. It's nothing to it's nothing to rush on. So I think all the criticism that Sean Payton's getting, it's warranted. It's fine. He's he's put himself in that corner in regards to talking and talking about hacking and talking about this person, talking about that person. But I think it was all a part of the plan, which makes me believe that's probably why he was talking. Because he's like, yo, I'm playing with house money. I'm going to throw shots at this dude. I'm going to throw shots at him. I'm going to do that. i do whatever the hell I want to do. Because I got carte blanche. I'm not getting fired. I win one game or no games a season. Don't matter to me. Still getting paid. So, my, my spider senses were tingling on this one. Thank you.